last night you went and bought some cigarettes And I know that she hates it when you smoke I don't know why you're breathing in my friend But you've got to breathe it out before you choke Hi everyone, Charmaine here with another paper craft tutorial and in this video I will show you how I made these cute plantable handmade paper. This video is divided into two parts, the first being how I made the plantable paper and the second part is how I turned the paper into these plantable gift tags. I'm going to put the timestamps below in case you want to skip to either parts. Just to let you know, I am not an expert in making handmade paper. In this vlog, I'll just show you the process of how I made these handmade plantable papers. If you need technical references, I list down a couple of the resources that I used in the description box below. Don't forget to click subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Now let's begin with making the handmade plantable paper. Of course, you will be needing seeds and I just manually gathered the little seeds from their pods because we had a Vietnam rose in the garden. So when the flower has dried up, they have these little pods attached to the base of the flower and I just simply take out that little pod and in each pod you get a lot of little seeds just to let you know it's different with every flower i gathered my seeds over the course of about a month or two months because i sort of had to wait for the pods to dry out before they turn into seeds but of course the shorter version to this would be to buy a packet of seeds from the store that is always an easier option but for me it was kind of fun gathering the seeds over time the next step would be making the paper slurry and to make the pulp i'm using this old phone book the first step would be to tear the pages into smaller pieces. You will also need a big enough container to put in your pieces of paper later on. If you have access to a paper shredder, you can use that. Otherwise, you can manually tear the sheets into smaller pieces. But as I wanted to make a bigger batch, I just decided to make strips using a metal ruler and a cutter of course i put a cutting mat underneath and i just run the cutter through the sheets over and over as for the thickness and the measurement my strips were about one half to one centimeter in width so as you can tell in the video i really didn't have a measurement for each one I just randomly cut each strip until I finished the entire phone book. Next, I placed the strips into this container. So this is a plastic jar and I stuffed as much as I could in there. As to how much you should put in one jar, I suggest that you put as much as you can but make sure to not pack it too tightly or don't make it too compact. This is so that there is enough space for water to seep through and this will allow each strip to be properly soaked in water. That's my base color and then I grabbed another jar which is smaller. I put in a couple of the strips as well. These smaller jars will add color to my handmade paper. In order to do so, in each jar, I put in colored sheets. So the first jar is pink and I made another jar which is orange. These are just simple colored sheets that I will soak together with 
some of the base paper so as you can see on screen the ratio is about one third color sheets to two thirds of the paper base and when i was done filling in both jars with orange and pink sheets the next step was to add water into each one of them so you have to pour in more than enough water to get all of the sheets covered i've read online that pre-soaking paper isn't necessary other tutorials and references totally skip this part so it's really up to you but i haven't tried otherwise but i think that soaking the strips for a night or two makes the fibers loose and therefore easier to turn into slurry after sealing the lids shut i just set them aside and leave them to soak for more than 24 hours so 24 hours later this is what they look like ready to be turned into pulp slurry to do so you will need a blender so i did the slurries in batches and do note that you will need to add water to your pulp so that the blending process would be much easier i start the process by pressing pulse until it's smooth enough to run into a pure blend the smoothness of your pulp is up to your preference i like mine a little bit chunkier rather than fully smooth i prefer to have more texture on my paper since i'm not using these ones to write rather i'm going to make them into decorative tags and sheets so i wanted to add floral embellishments on it so i am grinding up these fresh flowers from the garden together with the colored pulp after grinding your pulp you will be ready to start with your handmade paper experience this is the stuff that i have a jar full of ground up florals a jar with the pink pulp and a jar with the orange pulp i'm going to be experimenting and adding these colored stuff to the base slurry i have a basin right here with water and I'm using an absorbent towel. You can use a sponge. And I'm going to use these homemade mold and deco. And I have other decorative elements in here, which I am going to try to add onto the paper, like these gold sheets and gold foil. Of course, let's not forget our seeds which will make this handmade paper plantable if you want to delve into more of the basics of handmade paper making i have a video and i'll put the link down below if you want to see that one but what you do is just put the pulp into the tub with water and then i just experiment mixing different pulp colors adding in embellishments and then the flower petals as you can see on screen i'm adding in gold foil so all you need to do is dip your mold and deckle underneath your pulp slurry solution and then just lift it up i take out the excess and put the loaded deckle onto my towel and i manually add the seeds onto the sheet i do this by pressing down on the seeds and manually pressing them onto the pulp of the paper and just try to bury them underneath the pulp each card tag that i made had about 10 to 15 seeds and this is the most important steps that make this handmade paper plantable when you're done lift the mold and slowly tilt it on a flat surface with the linen sheet use the sponge or an absorbent towel to absorb excess water and lift screen and release so i just repeat this process multiple times 
other tutorials mix in the seeds with the water solution but since I was making a big batch and I wanted to make sure that each sheet had a seed on it I chose to do it manually the next step is to dry the sheets and the best way to do it is in direct sunlight I started making my handmade paper late in the afternoon and I sort of ran out of daylight so I decided to put the sheets in a shaded area just in case it would rain that evening and it did so I put the sheets in the hut and the next day I found droplet marks on some of the sheets because the hut had holes on the roof but that was okay really it just damaged a couple of the sheets that I made and I can always tear them into smaller pieces so no waste there then I took them out to dry under the sun again this time the sun shone a little brighter and they dried up pretty quickly then the most satisfying part is lifting it off of the sheet and then invert them for the big reveal I checked the seeds and they are intact and well in place and we now have our handmade paper and now we go on to part 2 where we turn this handmade paper into a tag it's simple really all you have to do is punch a hole and then set an eyelet on through that hole so for this demo I am making a pink card and an orange card as well after securing the grommets in place the next step would be to mark the tags I made this custom text stamp using my shiny stamp letter set and then I also added some embellishments using these flower stamps from Papa Melorotti and of course a tag needs twine and I am using these Avril Kyoto yarns the one you see on screen is the cream kirk chenille and the white bouquet after running the strands through the hole I just simply make a knot to secure the twine in place and that's our first tag done and I do the same for the other tag and there we go now to make this more customized I just write down the variety of the flower of the seeds that I have embedded into these paper sheets and using the same shiny stamps letter set I just put in my stamp that says with love by Charmaine C and we are done now we have two tags that are plantable I hope you somewhat enjoyed this little craft vlog tutorial that I shared as I've said I'm not an expert but if you have any questions and suggestions just type them in the comments below I would love to hear your thoughts if you get a chance to make plantable paper yourself don't forget to tag me on Instagram I would love to see and share your work with others. Thank you so much for making it through till the end of this video. I hope you are well and that you keep safe. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.